Today we're doing math pages 19 and 20. Introduction to division. 19 and 20. Pro- Proverbs 8:10 Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. Okay, for number one in the class practice, it tells you to write the correct term in each blank. It's also telling us to spell it correctly. And I'm showing you the answers right here. Go ahead and start filling that in. For 1A, you need to start with divisor. I'll tell you how to spell it. Make sure you do it correctly. Divisor is D-I-V-I-S-O-R. And what that is, is that three right there. That is our divisor for this problem. The divisor is the three right there. That's the divisor in the problem. When you have your division box, this number will be your divisor. Okay, and then over here is our quotient. That's the answer of a division problem. Let me tell you how to spell it. Q-U-O-T-I-E N-T. Your quotient is the answer to the division problem. And then the number that's inside the box is the dividend. Dividend. D-I-V-I-D-E-N-D. And so, as we look at B, we have to do the same thing. We're writing divisor quotient, dividend. Go ahead and write those down. You're going to rewrite them again. And then we'll look at number two. Number two is telling us to divide and to show your work. And so I've got the work done for you right there. Two goes into six three times, so you need to write a three. Two times three equals six, so you subtract it. Six minus six, and it equals zero. You don't need to have this X, and you don't need to have this line going down. But you do need to add the rest of what we see there. So B, 4 goes into 4 one time, so they got a 1 on top. 4 times 1 is 4. So that's what we're subtracting, 4 minus 4, and that equals 0. Our answer is not 0, but the quotient is the number on top, the 1. C. 3 goes in the 6 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. So we subtract 6 and we get 0. Our answer is the 2. D. 2 goes in the 8 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8. So we do 8 minus 8 and that gives us 0. Now we have two story problems to do. 3A, the first one, it's asking how much did Juan earn by selling 135 apples at 35 cents each? So you need to multiply your 135 times your 35 cents. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 more would be 17. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 more would be 6. I'm going to take my eraser and erase these numbers that I used. Oh, it went away. i got to put it up there again. Sorry.
Well, I'm not going to try to erase it because it keeps taking it all the way here. But now I'll do my three spray, three times five, three times three, and three times one. Three times five, I need to start with my zero. Three times five is 15, carry a one. Three times three is nine, plus one more would be 10, so carry a one. And three times one plus one would be four. And now we can add up these numbers. Five plus zero is five. Seven plus five is 12. One plus six is seven. And the four comes down. Now, because this decimal is two places over, in our answer, we're going to put a decimal two places over. And we also need a dollar sign. And so our answer is $47.25. So that's the total amount that Juan earned. $47.25. Raise your hand if you like red apples better than green. And raise your hand if you like green apples better than red. Okay, let's do B. It says, Carrie spent $8.76 on a biography of William Carey, missionary to India. How much change did she receive from $10? So we're going to subtract these two numbers. The $10 minus the $8.76. Well, you can't take 6 away from zero. So we have to borrow, we go way over here to borrow. Borrow from the one, it becomes zero. This becomes ten. Borrow from the ten, it becomes nine, and we borrowed one, so that becomes ten. Borrow from the ten, it becomes nine, we borrowed one, so that becomes ten. All right, ten minus six, we get four. Nine minus seven, we get two. I'll bring down the decimal point. Nine minus eight, we get one. And so her change is one dollar twenty four cents. One dollar and twenty four cents. Let's look at the back side where it says review. And the directions tell us to circle the clue words for addition and box the clue words for subtraction. Remember, a box has four corners. So when we box them, it's got to look like this. And a circle shouldn't have any corners. A good circle. Okay, the word difference. Is that addition? Or is that subtraction? Difference would be subtraction, so we need to box this word. B, left. How much would be left? We need to box it. That is subtraction also. Change. To receive how much change, you'd have to subtract. In all boxes... So far, all the subtraction problems. Circles will be addition problems. In all, that's when you're adding. When you're adding a couple numbers in all, what's the cost? So we circle D. Same with the total of something, that'd be adding it. So we circle E. F, less, that would be subtraction. We need to box it. All together would be addition. Let's circle it. The sum is the answer to addition problem, so we need to circle it. And how much more than something? You'd have to subtract to find out the answer to that, so we box it. Okay, you're going to do the rest on your own, but before you do, let's go ahead and play a little Would You Rather. All right. So do a little would you rather. Here we go. Everybody stand up, push in their chairs. Okay. Would you rather drink a glass of really spicy mustard? So if you'd rather that, I want you to go over to that side of the room. Or... Eat a bag of french fries found in a sidewalk garbage can. Go to that side of the room. 
Which one would you rather do? Really spicy mustard? That one. Or eat a bag of french fries found in a gross garbage can off the sidewalk. So go to whichever side of the room is what you'd rather do. Mustard is made of spicy, uh, it's, it, well, it's made spicy if you add horseradish to it. That's a root known for its zing. And humans have used it for a lot of years, for a long time. They even use it as medicine for pain. All right, next one. Would you rather be hit by lightning Go to that side of the room if you'd rather be hit by lightning. Or, be bitten by a shark. Which would you rather happen to go to that side of the room? Hit by lightning, go to that side of the room. Be bitten by a shark, go to that side of the room. A bolt of lightning can be as hot as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's five times hotter than the surface of the sun. An average shark... Well, an average of 16 shark attacks happen in the United States every year. But most of them aren't deadly. There will be little bites and stuff. And usually shark attacks aren't deadly. It means like the people don't die. They just get injured from the shark. All right, next one. Would you rather have hair so greasy it always drips no matter how much you wash it? Like your hair has so much grease in it. It always drips, no matter how much you wash it. Or, have a constant drooling problem, where drool is just always coming out of your mouth. So, would you rather have greasy hair that drips grease, or would you rather have a drooling problem, where you're always kind of drooling out of your mouth? Okay, next one. Would you rather... Go to your first day of school with your eyebrows completely shaved off so you didn't have any eyebrows on your head. Or with the bottom lip on your mouth puffed up five times its normal size so it would be really big, like your lip would be really big. There's a famous painting by uh, an artist named Leonardo da Vinci. He painted the Mona Lisa. And the woman in this painting, what's interesting, if you ever look at that famous painting, the Mona Lisa, she doesn't have any eyebrows. It's kind of crazy. Think about all the things that would be hard to do if you had a giant bottom lip. It would be hard to like, eat and drink and talk. Okay, next one. Would you rather go stand back at your desks? Go stand back at your desks. Would you rather eat a live snake or eat a dead jellyfish? Which would you rather do? There's some people in China that eat snake meat. It's supposed to be delicious and have uh, good things for your health. The Chinese even, they're known for drinking... uh, Snake blood. Um, Jellyfish. Jellyfish are made up of 95% water. Okay, we'll do another one. Go stand at your desks. Would you rather wear a bicycle helmet everywhere that you went? Or Carry an umbrella everywhere you go. Would you rather wear a bicycle everywhere you went, a bicycle helmet everywhere you went, or carry an umbrella everywhere you go? Okay, go stand back at your desk. Would you rather never be able to cut off 
your fingernails, you had to just keep growing them and growing them and growing them. Or never be able to cut your toenails. You had to keep growing them and growing them and growing them and growing them. It's interesting, the middle finger on your hand, the nail on the middle finger grows the fastest. Out of all your nails, the nail on your middle finger grows the fastest. And since 1991, the world record for the longest toenails has been held by Luis Hollis, a woman named Luis Hollis. Her nails are each about six inches long. This is on her toenails. Okay, let's do one last one. Would you rather... Everybody go stand back at their desks. Would you rather suck a little drool, suck a little of the dog's drool, suck a little of the drool off a dog's mouth after he comes back from a run, so he's been running and you suck a little bit of drool off his mouth, or would you rather share a bowl of dog food with the dog at the same time that he's eating. Kind of crazy, a lot of people say that a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's mouth. But really that depends what the dog has been putting in his mouth, because think about it, sometimes dogs put pretty bro gross things in their mouth. Go ahead and finish the rest of 19 and 20. You guys are the smartest people in the world. Don't kiss dogs. <laughs>